In order to win the war, Ukraine needs 1,000 155mm howitzers, 300 multiple launch rocket systems, 500 tanks, 2,000 armored vehicles, and 1,000 drones. Those are the numbers put out by Ukrainian presidential advisor Mikhailo Podolyak ahead of a June 15th Ukraine Defense Contact Group meeting in Brussels. A focus of this meeting is to examine next steps needed to help Ukraine defend itself. So, of course, a part of that is what equipment is going to be sent. Now, there's 50 or so countries in attendance, and the effort to support Ukraine so far has been international. But to get an idea of what's being asked on this wish list, let's compare it to estimates of what's in the U.S. inventory. I'm just trying to get close here. There are a lot of numbers to sift through on all these systems. For artillery, the ask was 1,155s, and the U.S. has around 4,000 total pieces. That's between 105s and 155s. Ukraine asked for 300 rocket launchers. I'm going to combine the two, both MLRS and HIMARS. Between the two, we've got around 1,500. They asked for 500 tanks. We've got around 9,000. Gets a little tricky when we say armored vehicle, because that could mean a lot of things. From a Bradley to a Humvee, Striker, LAV, MRAP, and quite a few more. Ukraine asked for 2,000. I'm going to roll all of these together in the United States and say we have over 25,000. It's similarly messy when we get into drones. Ukraine asked for 1,000, and we've got about 11,000 in the United States. But that's everything from the armed Reapers and Predators to the unarmed Shadows, even includes the handheld Ravens. If that whole list is sent, I would expect it to be split between a bunch of different countries. But in comparison to what the U.S. has, Ukraine's wish list is 25% of our howitzers, 20% of our rocket launchers, 5% of our tanks, 7 or 8% of our armored vehicles, and roughly 10% of our drones.